My name is Marian Bateo. What? My name is Azurfik Bateo. We live in Tanawan Leyte, Philippines. Um, I'm the mother of Esther Faith and she was diagnosed with congenital heart disease. This is called Tetralogy of Fallow when she was three months old. So it was hard for us, but first we don't have that money. We don't know, or we don't have any resources. So it was really hard for us. And then the way the doctors, the doc, that doctor told us, it's, it seems that we don't have hope for, for this child to, to survive. We just uh, had, a check, uh, had her check up every month when the doctor goes, uh, goes to Tacloban. And then we started looking for agencies who could be able to help us because every t she always gets sick during that time when she was three, three months old and onwards. There, there are um, medical missions from, from Philippine Heart Center that went to Tacloban and she's one of the candidates for the operation in Leyte during that time when she was three years old but then the result is um uh her condition they cannot make it in lady because of of the facilities there they can so she has to be brought to philippine heart center in manila but we don't have the means we don't have the the money to bring her to manila because it's really expensive 2013 november 8th we were hit by the strongest typhoon called yolanda during that time there there were a lot of uh, there were plenty of people who died and it was the time that we met medic corp when they went to our place for medical mission and they get to know the story of esther faith and they get interested to help us and it was, that was the start of the journey of esther faith for her to get the medication medic corp helped us facilitate to get to Philippine Heart Center and help us avail the program, government program called uh, Z Benefit. And then we were being put to waiting list for two months. And then they called us that Esther Fate was accepted for the program. Prior admission, they did some laboratory tests for her. And then they found out that they, that her heart is fading. And then the surgeon there said that they couldn't be able to do the surgery because uh, they would suggest that her life would be prolonged if no intervention, no surgical intervention. And she cannot make it if they, they pursue the operation. They said that she could not be able to make it. Then the, the doctor said if, if, she is not going to to do the surgery her life would be prolonged and at least six months but if they do the operation upon opening her heart she would not leave so that's the only option we had and the doctor said to us that the things that we don't allow her let her let her let her do let her play okay it, it would be painful for the child not to experience those things for the next couple of years, she did regular phlebotomy. It was her only option for to extend her life. The doctor said that there's no option in the Philippines, so she needs to be she needs to be in in the United States. So that's the time Lawson started court coordinated with the medic corp to facilitate Esther Faith to bring to the here in USA. Now we're in Orlando, Florida. Um, we are so excited for her to be to, ha to have to have the total repair of the heart in Advent Health Hospital. Thank you so much for everyone who prayed and helped uh, to get this operation be possible. We are very grateful for all of you. Though 
I don't know all of you, but we are in our heart, we are very grateful. Thank you so much. I'm excited to get admitted and get the operation and I can go home and see my dad. And thank you for everything, even though I don't know you. Thank you for everything that you give and our love for me. Thank you for praying for me. Thank you very much. God bless. Okay, guys, miracles happen. We're in Orlando, Florida. Advent Health, who has been so helpful with Esther's case, all the prep work, getting her to the USA, getting her accepted for this operation, and Esther just finished her uh, echocardiogram, and things are looking good, and she's ready for her surgery on a Wednesday. How do you feel about it, Esther? Excited. You're excited? Okay. You're not nervous at all, not one bit. No. You've already seen and done everything. So... Esther and her mother were both granted humanitarian parole to come to the U.S. for this operation. And so many thousands of people have been involved across the country and across the world, really, financially, in prayer, and so many other ways for her to get this. So we are ecstatic, and we're praying for the best outcome. So we're right at the door, and we'll see if we can get this done and get her back to her dad and the rest of her family and friends yeah. in the Philippines. Salamat kay iyo nga tanan han iyo pag-ampo ngan bulig haamo. 